Hi everyone. I am Jamie, an independent sensei consultant outside of Chicago, Illinois, and I am coming on today because I received a shipment, quite a few things from quite a few different collections. Um, I've actually been waiting for this shipment. It's taken quite a bit of time. When it arrived, I was a little nervous because the boxes were very beat up. I'm hoping that um, a couple of the warmers I got did not be, were not affected. Um, but I have a wide variety of things to go through. I'm super excited to smell some new scents I haven't smelled before and look at a few new items I haven't seen yet. So I think we'll just kind of go through the box. There's a lot here. Um, I did pick up two Scentsy soaps. I have Luna Coconut Daiquiri. Um, our Scentsy soaps are wonderful. I have mentioned before, I'm not a huge bather, but my kids are. So um, I picked up the coconut daiquiri for my kids. I, along with everybody else on YouTube who gets these, can't put them back. They're impossible to the black back. There is a little like zip lock here, but it's next to impossible to do it. So I did invest in, oh please, some flip top mason jars um, and they are super cute because they have little tags and they come with a white chalk marker. Um, this is 32 ounces. This is 32 ounces, but it doesn't quite all fit right away. You have to wait for it to settle a little bit in here. Um, but I have, there's a package of four I got on Amazon and I can link that link below. Um, if you do get Scentsy Soaks, I really feel like this is the way to go because it is really challenging to close them back up. So Luna and Coconut Daiquiri. Um, I also did pick up some washer whips. There is a three pack of the smaller tub of washer whips you can get. Um, these are the 16 ounce ones. So I did get it in Luna. Black raspberry, vanilla, and aloe water and cucumber. So black raspberry and vanilla, I wash my children's clothes in. It smells amazing. It lasts and lasts. I mean, I smell my kids after they've been wearing clothes that have been in their drawers for weeks, and I can still smell this. And I think it's just a very nice, youthful scent. So I kind of choose that for them. And with the aloe water cucumber, I use this for all of our um, towels in the house. Um, Again, it's more like a spa scent to me, so it just makes sense to do it that way. And then with Luna, I prefer Luna. So with my clothes, I use Luna, bedding, things like that. Um, so, yeah, we did a refill of some of those. Um, other summer collection items. Um, I already got a beach mode um, oil set and I realized I can't do without these. In fact, I think I have another one coming. Um, with this summer collection scent, if you have not ordered these yet, I highly suggest ordering them if you're any kind of oil lover. It's a super cute description of each. Um, and another great thing, like if you're warming our new coconut daiquiri scent, um, bikini martini right here, right here. This one is the perfect complement to coconut daiquiri or pina colada cha cha or any of those like Hawaiian scents. It's just the perfect match. So, um, I highly suggest picking these up. They come in a package of three, super cute pin. Um, they are the smaller version. So when Sensi does um, collections for oils, they are five. Typically Sensi does 15 mLs. These are five. So that's why I knew I had to pick up more. Sandal season, Kini Martini and Totally Tropical. They're all good. So I have diffusers, one right there. And I have diffusers upstairs in three rooms. So I decided I'll have one set down here and one set upstairs. Okay, soap. 
coconut daiquiri in the summer collection. Now, let's talk soap. Um, I just haven't been the biggest fan of the mode of soap for that Sensi does. Um, I'm not a fan of this little push. I just, I don't know. It has never appealed to me. And so I did buy a lot of soaps and I've had them out, but I saw a video. I don't know if anyone watches Lisa Roberry, um, but she did a video on how to turn this into a foaming soap like this. So I duped her. I copied her. Um, this is a foaming soap dispenser that I bought on Amazon. You get two for like $19.99. They come with cute labels that can come off. And what you do is you take half of this, half, and put it in here. And since it came with two, I poured the other half in the other one. And then you fill the rest very slowly with water and it's going to be separated. So you just kind of go like this probably a good five, six minutes until it's completely mixed and dissolved. And then I want to show you guys something next. It turns into foaming soap. And I was a little fearful, like it's going to be totally diluted and you're not going to smell it. No, it smells just as good as it does in the gel form. Truly, I'm not lying. Truly is good. Um, so that's a little hack that if you prefer um, foaming soap over the gel soap, you can make your own now. Or if you just don't like the way that Sensi has this soap, try this. I am a converter now and I will not go back. Um, and then what do we have? Luna in the sugar scrub. Sugar scrub, I am... I am a believer. I am a believer in the sugar scrub. It has transformed my skin. Um, I I use it all the time, probably daily, but I want to try going to every other day because I use a lot and I don't want to use a lot, but it's really good. You can use it and then shave right after and it's smooth and it's easy. Um, and this one is in the beautiful Luna scent. Okay, now. I think I'm going to do the warmers next. I did get two warmers for customers, and you can see, I don't know if you can see how beat up this is. This is totally dented in. I don't know what happened. Like, the box came, look at that. If it were for me, I wouldn't truly care, but it's for a customer, so let's just want to make sure it's okay. I'm not going to turn it on. This one is in the clouds. I personally have not seen this one before. Um, but let's just, like, everything also feels wet, like, damn, it's weird. So it's a clear dish, okay. clear dish intact, which is good. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, that is ready. Um, for those of you who don't know Sensi too well, our, we have a little divot here, which the cord rests in, so then your um, warmer lies flat. Your dish goes right on top. Um, the light bulb, which comes with all of our um, standard warmers and mini warmers, is here and it just screws in. I'm not going to turn this one on again because it's for our customer but I just wanted to make sure that it was intact. And a lot of people with the In the Clouds Warmer, we have colored light bulbs, and it totally transforms how this one looks. Really. Like that one. And I'll put this back together after the video. Okay. And then... Oh. The Black Retro Truck is here. Ugh, I'm so excited. I did not get one for myself because I have too many warmers. Um, but I did get it for a customer. So again, I want to open it and take a peek. 
but I am not going to turn it on. But I did hear that the lights, when it's plugged in, the front lights and the tail lights light up. Ooh, super cute, guys. A little smaller than I thought it would be. A little smaller than I thought it would be. But um, you have all these details. Oh, super cute, sensey, like license plate would be. These light up. And then these light up. They're kind of the rubber texture. And then the wax goes right here. It has the spare tire. So cute. So cute. She's going to love that one. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. Two more non wax items one coconut daiquiri um, scent circle. I think I just had like $2 left in host rewards. So I picked it up and I'm kind of glad I picked it up because coconut daiquiri as of right now is the only um, scent circle and wax that sold out of the summer collection. These are gone. So the only way to get these, or at least this one, is to put it in your Scentsy Club, which I did. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Scentsy Club, it is a subscription that you can set for monthly, bi-monthly, or you can do every three months. And the perk is once items, bars, once bars go um, sell out or retire, if it's in your club, Scentsy will make it for you forever. So you never lose the scents you love. And the four scents you guys, the four cents of the summer collection, I am in love with. We'll talk about those in a second. So, got this. And a oil, rosewood vanilla. So, I am pretty close to having a lot of the oils. So, I wanted to try. Hmm. It's, it's good. I like it a lot. I just don't know that I smell. I don't get a rose salad. I get a floral scent with a vanilla. Not a bakery vanilla, but like a perfumey vanilla. Mm, it is good. It's good. I'm excited to try that. Sometimes my expressions don't really match what I'm thinking. So I have to feel like I have to say, oh, I like it. It is good. Okay. Let's do some wax. So I'm going to save the best for last, the ones I haven't smelled before, um, and go with the ones I have smelled. Um, I also got my, oh, I have a lot more actually. Oh, I forgot all about these, you guys. So I have nine fragrance flowers. No, nine, ten, eleven. I have twelve fragrance flowers. Four, um, three packs of fragrance flowers because it is the end of the school year. They are perfect teacher gifts. I had a couple customers who wanted to get them for teachers. I myself got them for my children's teachers. Um, so I know that there's a set of three um, blue agave melon, a set of three Fiji flower, a set of three avocado and sea, or sea salt and avocado, and then I think three randos in there, three randoms. And for Again, those who don't know, here are our beautiful scent flowers. This one is out of oil, but still extremely, extremely fragrant. So I kind of leave them out a little bit past the oil. This is the buttercup design. And then we have a Darling Dahlia design. Um, they are perfection for bathrooms, for your desk, for areas that um, you just want a little pop of scent. They're not room filling, but they're really beautiful. The one thing you want to make sure is that these are not touching anything. They're oils and you want them free from touching anything else. So 12 of these guys. Okay. But what I was saying is I got my bring back my bar kit in this shipment. I am not going to go through those. Um, I might do a first sniff video, um, but that's like a whole other animal there. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick with the ones that we got. So talking about the summer collection, we got 
Or Fiji flowers. Or Fiji flowers. I am in love with Fiji flower. It is floral. It is a sweet floral. It is um it is in the pods. So I have it in my car actually right now. And it is in scent circle. This it's in the laundry line. I feel like I'm missing something. Um but a vivid lay, delicately crafted with pink plumeria and pear blossom, wraps around an air of apple. It's so good. It's so good. I don't, a lot of people said they get the apple. I don't get the apple. I just kind of love, it's very floral to me, but it's like a sweet floral, like I said. So, these are great. These are great. Club worthy for sure. Already in my club. Okay, then we have the coconut daiquiri. Coconut daiquiri. It is, I'm, I'm a fan of coconut and all the things like pina colada cha-cha um, and like Havana Cabana and things like that are, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to look up the scent notes for us. So coconut daiquiri, a tropical blend of coconut milk banana and vanilla cream that's as refreshing, refreshing as it is sweet. So I'm so sorry if you weren't able to pick this up because it is gone, but you can still add it to your club up to 30 days. Definitely get the banana, vanilla, coconut. Oh, it's so good. It's not super sweet. It's delicious in my club. The, oh, I don't have the other summer one, which I don't know how they, they hit this collection out of the park. They are all so good. Um, Blue Agave and Melon is another showstopper in my opinion. Right now I have it warming with um, Hibiscus Pineapple Super Duo. If you feel like you um, want to try something a little bit different. They go really well together. Blue Agave is a sweet desert oasis lush with blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi. It is, oh, this is one of my favorite Scentsy scents of all time. It's a little light though. I wish it was a little stronger, but you get the melon and I am a melon fanatic. I love aloe vera and ivy. I love the Moana scent, all those melon You get the tartness of the kiwi, the melon. Again, club worthy in my club already. Blue agave melon. Okay, then I have a couple of the scents of the month for May. These are palm trees and ocean breeze. This is a really, really good performer. Such a pretty wax. Um, you get the ocean scent, you get that suntanny scent, you get that, just that vibe of on the beach. These are really, it's really good, really good. And I thought it was gonna be light at first, but it really, it has been awesome. Sugar cookie, hello butter, hello sugar. Oh, so good. I love the bakery scents for my kitchen, and um, this actually is not for me, but I have a brick of sugar cookie, so I do love sugar cookie. Summer Holiday has um, proven to be a big hit. Oh, I want to pull the scent up, it's up for this because um, I can't tell what they are. I know it's good, but I'm not picking up what it is. It's a really pretty blue wax. So, um, steal away to a sunny aisle bursting with lush plumeria, tiger lily, and sweet orange softened by vanilla and radiant amber. And I'm not an amber fan. I'm just not. Amber adds a perfumey component that sometimes is very headache inducing for me. But I do like this one. I do like this one. Summer holiday. But I, I get the amber note right away. Okay, a couple more non. Okay, 
Atlantic Air. This is, um, I thought was going to be light. It's not. It is, it is ocean. It is crisp, clean air. It is awesome if you just want cleanness in your house. I have two tangerine creamsicles because, again, when this one first came out in the summer catalog and I smelled it, oh, it is so good. Sorry. Um, I thought it was super light, um, but smelling it, it is that nostalgic creamsicle scent completely, like that creamy vanilla and the orange or tangerine citrus that you get with it. And when I first warmed it, I did it in my here, which is my open area, and it didn't perform well. But then I was like, I'm going to try it again, and I put it in the bedrooms. Oh. It is such a nice scent in the bedroom. It's beautiful. It worked well in the bedroom. So I picked up some more. Okay, yeah. So we have a few um, Disney scents, 100 Acre Woods. 100 Acre Woods is on the lighter side too. I do believe there is um, amber in here. Feel like I can smell it right away. This one again is not for me. Um, it says, maybe not. Grab your favorite hand and wander through a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet cozy vanilla. I've heard this one is quite light too. It's a good nursery scent, bedroom scent. It's it's very pretty. I I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it, it's, it's pretty. We have two of the um, Star Wars scents. So light side, um, which is out of stock, but you can still get it if you put it in your club. Um, light side is a very laundry scent for me. Um, feel the force all around you. It's here, there, in the orange groves, morning mist, and even the driftwood in the ocean's edge. Um, it's like a clean laundry soap scent to me. Um, nice, but not my favorite. And then I do think this one's club worthy and probably going to go in my club. This is the Mandalorian Air of Adventure scent. Um, I have this going right away. We have the R2D2 warmer. We're on back order for the um, child warmer. But I put this in silver mint, like Mandalorian armor, surrounds crisp bergamot and earthy sweet geranium, while a touch of eucalyptus and bright orange zest. It's sweet. It's clean. That bergamot gives it that crisp scent that bergamot does. I really like it. I love it. Yeah, and this one is going to my club. All right, so these are the ones I'm so excited to smell. Father's Day collection, Perfect Gentleman Vanilla Bourbon. Perfect Gentleman Vanilla Bourbon. Okay, Perfect Gentleman, I have a guess that it's going to be like a manly cologne smell. Um. I could be wrong, but that is my guess. Let's get the scent notes just so I don't stare you wrong. I know there's, I believe there's bergamot in it and amber in it. So um, I feel like that's where I'm getting that assumption from. A charismatic blend of white amber and oak moss with a sleek finish of fresh marine water. It smells like aftershave. It smells like a very good looking man. But to me, it's like the aftershave. I don't even know if men use aftershave anymore. I don't know. But like when I was younger, I'm going to get like a little scent memory from this. It smells like the, like the liquid in the, in the glass. Like that I would see in my dad's bath, 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 bathroom of aftershave that you put on and it smells like just like that for me. 
it's good. I don't know if I want my house smelling like it, but maybe for my husband's bathroom or something like that. But it's very masculine smelling. Not doesn't smell super strong, but very masculine. And then this is the one I'm super excited for, vanilla bourbon. Um, I haven't smelled it yet, but warm vanilla and a smooth sip of bourbon mingle under a hint of nutmeg. Not nutmeg, nutmeg. I have a feeling because of the nutmeg that it might be a little fallish. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, oh, the nutmeg's on the bottom. The vanilla is through. It's like a creamy vanilla with nutmeg. I get no bourbon. I get no boozy smell. Maybe a little on the bottom, but it's not boozy. Oh, this is good. Pick this up. Pick it up before it's gone. I think this is clubworthy. I think this is clubworthy. Oh, it's good. But I don't know about warming it now. I'm not I, I am kind of a seasonal warmer. Like it doesn't make sense to me personally to be warming fall now, but I gotta try it. I gotta try it. This is good. This is good. Okay. Last but not least, the villains collection. It's a super cute, I don't know if you can see, but it says, what does it say? Evil Queen, Ursula, and Maleficent. Saying that cracked, you take it off, and it opens, oops, is it upside down? Yeah, it opens kind of like a storybook. How cute is that? And then you have the waxes in here. Oh, it's adorable. Um, I have not smelled these ever. I know that they are all kind of like repeats. Um, just one bite. Let's see what I get from it. Ooh. It's a very bright, like bright tart apple. Ooh, I like this a lot. Very tart apple. I wonder if that one's mixed. I don't want to. I don't know. I I have a very sensitive nose. I smell things that I like a lot of people don't smell. But at the same time, it often sometimes I'm smelling random things. Mm. Here we go. Just one bite. The temptation is too much to resist when the poisoned apple hidden deep in forest woods blends with warm cinnamon, cinnamon and menacing black molasses. See, that's why I was thrown off. I didn't think I would like it, the black molasses. I don't get black molasses and I don't get cinnamon. No, nope, I get apple. <laughs> I get apple. This is good. Very good. Okay. Next is Mistress of Evil. Mistress of Evil says the beauty of gardenia meets malevolent <laughs> musk, while juicy blood orange drips over Satsuma plum for the sweetest revenge. Mm. This is good too. Mm, you get the plum on the bottom. Ooh, a very tart, sweet plum. Plumeri, I definitely get. I don't know if I get the orange. A little orange. This is nice too. Oh no. Oh no, this is good too. Um, and then we get Ursula. I've heard Ursula is light. Let's check out Ursula. Poor unfortunate souls. Um, an alluring potion of wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry, and bubbly goji berry wrapped in vengeful vanilla silk. Mm. Um, I'm getting a, 
plasticky note. Um, I don't know about this one. I don't think I like this one. It's I'm getting a, a very off-putting note in here and I can't pinpoint it. It almost smells chemically or plasticky, um, but I'd have to warm it to be sure. But I think out of this collection, I would do just one bite first, Mistress of Evil second. These are really good. I don't know. You guys, I just stumbled across a lot of club worthy scents and I don't know if I have the room in my club. Um, there you have it, my very long haul. I really appreciate everyone joining. Have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye.